the industry is projected to need some 750,000 aviation maintenance technicians like Howard here behind me over the next two decades. That's as the current workforce ages out. And as you mentioned, the global travel industry continues to grow. In fact, Delta told us they'll need about 2,000 technicians in the next decade alone. And throughout the industry, we had a lost decade of hiring uh, that occurred uh, in the 1990s through the 2000s, early 2000s. And as a result of that, uh, as an industry, as we've had consolidation and all the other things that happened, uh, it's really increased the overall demand for AMTs. Um, so we have to find ways to be able to prepare to be able to get them hired to, uh, to make sure that we're ready to go for the future. Companies like Delta and JetBlue are partnering with training schools around the country like Aviation High School in Queens to ensure they have a vast pipeline of talent. But the industry is also facing challenges, including a gender and skills gap as it seeks to fill these important roles. We spoke to Lori DeMarco. She now works for JetBlue, but she was the first woman to attend Aviation High School. She says there's also a perception problem within the industry that airlines like JetBlue are working to change. I think now a lot of parents want their kids to be in white collar jobs and so they don't as much encourage their kids to work with their hands. I mean, that's, so I think that's why there's a smaller pipeline. So I think we have to, as in the industry, we have to do a better job at partnering with the schools like Aviation High School. Also of note here, guys, this salary can be about $70,000 a year, which as we all know is very competitive and you don't need a four-year college degree in order to reach that pay level.